Johnny Corteau by William Henry Drummond. I picked this book up um, in a second-hand bookstore some years ago. Phoned my mom and I said, oh, mom, I think you'll like this. Um, and I read her Little Batisse, which I will read to you as well. My mother's mother was French-Canadian from Saskatchewan, and um, <laughs> so I never learned to speak French at home, but I got to hear the accent a little bit, but not so much. I'm not so good at it, but you don't have to be good at it with Johnny Cordeaux because it's all written out for you. So, I'm going to read you two poems from Johnny Cordeaux, and... I am exaggerating my ability to do this, even with it written out for me. So, as always, apologies regarding the accent. Oh, here's, here's Batisse. Ah, ooh, ah, there. Batisse, the lucky man. He's always catching Dory, and he's always catching drought on the place where no one else can catch at all. He's always catching barbot, that's what you call bull pout. And he never missed a wild duck on the fall. Oh, the partridge do some skipping when she see him on the swamp, for she know Baptiste don't go for nothing there. And the rabbit, if he's coming well, you ought to see him jump. Why, he want to climb the tree, he feels so scared. After two hours by the river, I hear his little song. Then I meet him, all his pocket full of snipe. And me, I go to some place and I tramp the whole day long. And I'm only shooting two or three by cripe. I start about the sunrise and I put out my decoy. And I see Baptiste, he sneak along the shore. And before it's coming breakfast, he's a holler on his boy for carry home two dozen duck or more. And I'm freezing on the blind me from four o'clock to nine. And every duck she passing up so high. There's Bluebill and Butterball and Redhead, the finest guy. And I might as well go shootin' on the sky. Don't see the norther feller like Baptiste was lucky, man. He can catch the smartest fish he's never swim. And the bird he seldom missed him, let them try the hard they can. Why, the eagle on the mountain can't fly away from him. But all the bird and fish do is give up feeling scared. And a rabbit, he can stay at home in bed. For he fish and shoot no longer, old Jean-Baptiste Belair, cause he's dead. <laughs> okay. One more. This, by the way, is an antique. Not really, but it's from a used bookstore that is no more. Okay. Second and final from Johnny Cotou. Little Patisse. <sighs> you bad little boy, not much you care how busy you're griping your poor grand bear trying to stop you every day chasing the hen around the hay. Don't you give them a chance to lay, little Baptiste. Off on the field you follow the plow, then when you're tired you scare the cow, sicken the dog till they jump the wall, so the milk ain't good for nothing at all, and you're only five and a half this fall, little Baptiste. Too sleepy for saying the prayer tonight? Never mind, I suppose it'll be all right. Say them tomorrow. Ah, there he go. Fast asleep in a minute or so, and he'll stay like that till the rooster crow. Little Baptiste. 
then wake us up right away tout sweet looking for something more to eat making me think of them long legged crane soon as they swallow they start again i wonder your stomach don't get no pain little batisse but see him now lying there in bed look at the arm underneath his head If he grow like that till he's twenty year, I bet he'll be stronger than Louis Sear and beat all the voyageurs leaving here, little Baptiste. Just feel the muscle along his back. Don't give him much butter for carry pack. On the long portage, any size can you. There's not many things that boy won't do, for he's got double joint on his body too. Little Baptiste, but little Baptiste, please don't forget. We rather you're staying the small boy yet. So chase the chicken and make them scare and do what you lack with your old grandpere. For when you're big feller, you won't be there, little Baptiste.